Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're talking about G3 Mansters. So yeah, um, I got a couple new Monster High G3 dolls. Of course, I've got Claude and I've got Heath Burns. And I figured I'd open them both in the same uh, video. I've been enjoying opening two dolls in one video. So I'm gonna continue that trend. So if you saw my last video, it was a subscriber mail video and I got a huge box that was full of a bunch of like vintage Barbies and My Little Ponies and uh, uh, Ever After High doll and stuff like that. I literally just filmed that earlier today. So it's still all on my table here. But uh, one of the items was this Barbie here, but where'd it go? I broke her. <laughs> she done gone broke it. She's missing an arm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel so bad. I was literally just sat down to film this video and I was like trying to pose her or whatever. And I was like, oh, she has a pink ring. Again, the, the thing, it literally just, I heard it snap. And the this little uh, pa plastic piece on the inside broke off. It, I just wanted to show you because like, it's an interesting construction. I've never known how these are put together, but hold on. So if you look inside there, you can kind of see that it, inside there there's like a plastic piece with like a little rectangle hole through it and basically this is what the arm looks like actually basically this is what it looks like this this little thing goes through and then this disc is on the inside of like on the other side of that little rectangle hole there and then this smaller disc is on the outside of it and it's basically so the arm can do this so it's basically like you know something's holding on to it but the arm can now rotate like this. Um, it's just really interesting. I've never seen that before. And unfortunately, there is absolutely no way to fix this because the way that it's made is the f body is in two parts. You can see a seam here. You got the back part and the front part and they're separate. And then the arms get laid down on the thing where they're supposed to be. And the top part gets put together, you know, once the doll is put together, the arms are now attached permanently. And I wouldn't be able to fix it without taking the doll completely apart. And I don't know how to do that. And I don't want to deal with it. So unfortunately, now this doll is going to need a body donor. Um, but I'm not too upset because that's kind of like a good excuse to put on a made to move body. I know not a lot of people like when people put like vintage Barbies on made to move bodies, but this is, I think this is a good ex excuse to do that. <laughs> Cause I don't know about you, but I don't have a whole bunch of extra vintage Barbie bodies just laying around. But <laughs> anyway, that is not what we're here to talk about. Today we're here to talk about Monster High G3. So I do actually, is there only, I think there's only three Monsters out now. I think we, we've only got three of the boy characters from Monster High and I do have, do already. In fact, I have two of them from G3. There are two Deuce dolls. This is his signature doll. And then the other one came in the two pack with Frankie. Uh, it was like the, the coffin bean or whatever it was, like the, the work brick one. He was working at the uh, the coffee shop or whatever. I think that's what it was. And he had a side glance, like he was looking to the side. I have that one also, but that one is in storage somewhere. But um, anyway, if you do want to see this review, the, the video is already up on my channel. So I'll put a link to it up here somewhere. Uh, and then and also, if you want to see the review that I did for the Frankie and Deuce 2 pack, I will put a link to that up here as well. But anyway, now I have two more of the Monster High Boys to add to my collection. So I'm actually really excited for these. So if you've followed my channel for a while, you know that I don't normally collect boy dolls. Like I don't have that many Ken dolls uh, and boy dolls from other doll lines. Um, I, I just, I don't know. No, they're, they're not always done in a way that I like. I'm just showing you the way these look in the boxes, by the way, while I'm talking. But um, yeah, I'm just not a huge fan of boy dolls. I know that like they're not the most like popular anyway. Um, I think like a lot of boy dolls kind of get... Uh, forgotten about like you know there, there's a lot more effort put into the girl dolls usually especially with the articulation there are a lot of male dolls that have just 
bad articulation or like the articulation doesn't have the same range as the girl dolls or just there's something about it that I'm not a huge fan of but there's something about Ever After High and Monster High, uh, Monster High G1, 2, and 3. When it came to the boy dolls, they just did something right, something that I like uh, that Mattel did. And um, these are kind of some of the only boy dolls that I actually like to collect. I'm just gonna start opening these while I'm talking about them. But yeah, because of that, I'm actually really excited to um, get some more Monster High boy dolls in my collection. Because since they're Monster High and they have like really cool themes, I just think they look cool. Plus, I actually, <laughs> I think that the Monster High boys actually look really handsome, so I'm just saying. <laughs> but yeah, this, uh, he, sorry, like I was talking about one thing. This is from the Scared Ice Island um, set, by the way, and there was only four dolls, I believe, in this. Uh, there was the uh, Claudine, Frankie, and Draculaura. I do have the Claudine, and I've already reviewed that. That video is also on my channel somewhere. And for Claude, I don't know, I don't think he was part of a specific release the way that that Heath was and Twyla was. I think the, that this is just a signature doll. So we get like a normal signature doll for Claude. You know, he's got like his extra outfit piece and his accessories and everything. So that's how we know. Um, Heath is in a slimmer box and we don't get an extra outfit piece. Uh, so that's how we know he's part of the, well, and it says Scared Ice Island line. Um, I think this is really interesting. Certain characters like um, Heath and Twyla are not, they don't have like their signature dolls. They're part of an, another existing line like Twyla was part of the creep over is it creep over I don't know it's this like slumber party one um you know she was released for that line and I guess like technically it was her signature doll but I think that Heath kind of got the short end of the stick because honestly like at least with Twyla like they're able to do her signature doll within a uh you know a, a secondary line Heath was just kind of like plopped right in the middle of a budget line like the not I don't know if it's budget is the right term they're just a little less expensive a little more affordable so yeah, I guess a budget line. But I will say he's really easy to open. <laughs> These budget lines are just like on a blister pack and it's super easy to open. Claude, on the other hand, did get a full like regular signature release in the normal style box, uh, which is not a blister pack. So it's going to take me a second to open this. So um, I'm going to just get him out of the box really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've got them out of the box and actually, um, Claude's box was not as difficult to open as I thought it was for some reason. I don't know. I guess I, for some reason, was remembering it being more difficult. But I think there's just, like, other doll lines that I've opened more recently that were, like, a pain in the butt. Um, but Monster High is actually pretty easy to unbox, so I'm happy about that. But anyway, okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at these. So here is he... What? 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 So here is Claude. Um, he looks so good. Now, I, I ordered both of these dolls on Amazon. Amazon or I, I think I got one on Target and maybe one on Amazon. I don't remember. But anyway, I ordered both of these online and for ordering them online and not picking them out in the store, I feel like I got pretty lucky. Like their faces look really good and there's not really any wonky eye or anything. I got lucky. <laughs> Actually, okay, hold on. I feel like Monster High G3 has been doing pretty good when it comes to like quality control and like wonky eyes and stuff like that. Like, let me know if you've had bad luck or maybe I'm just getting like super lucky. I don't know. Uh, I feel like Monster High G3 has been pretty decent overall. So anyway, so this is Claude. He's got his really, really tight curls, like his curly kind of Afro hair. I love it. It's kind of got an undercut because that's kind of like the go-to style for boy dolls. <laughs> I, I, you know what? It's so funny. Um, so just recently I did a collaboration with um, Enzo from the junk drawer and we talked about collecting boy dolls and I, was it a live stream or was it pre-recorded? I think it might have been pre-recorded. Anyway, um, so we were talking about unpopular doll opinion, boy doll opinions and wanted to get my perspective because I don't normally collect boy dolls and I just I remember talking about that how like so many boy dolls especially within the past I want to say 10 years all the boy like so many boy dolls have an undercut for their hairstyle and I'm I don't know if it's because it truly is trendy or it's because it's easy to do on a doll. I, <laughs> I'm wondering the real reason behind it. But uh, anyway, curly hair like this is always really difficult for me to tell. I think this is Saran, but it could be 
watch something else. Uh, it's it's really hard to tell. It's soft, it's squishy, so I'm thinking it's saran, but when it's really tight curls like this, it's hard to tell. By the way, if you haven't seen it, I recently did a doll hair guide for helping to like identify what type of doll hair your doll has. Uh, and I just up uploaded that last week. So if you haven't seen it yet, um, I'll put a link here because I, you know, I put a lot of effort into that and I'm really proud of it. So I definitely want everybody to have a chance to see it. Also, if you think anybody would enjoy watching that or can find it useful, be sure to share it because that definitely helps that video out a lot. And I really appreciate it. Um, anyway, so I was looking at this Claude doll and I'm going to have to take a look at, um, I don't have any Claudine dolls from G3 out here that I can compare to, but I noticed something really weird about his ears. Has anybody else noticed this? Like his ears are separate from his head. It's not part of his head mold. Like you could see it's like lifting up, like they're glued on. Like has anybody else noticed this or pointed this out? Like that is, that's weird, right? Like I, I've no, I didn't know that. I mean, this is my first time seeing this doll in person, but I just noticed that as I was um, taking him out of the box. That is so weird. It's kind of cool, like knowing if I want to customize him that I can, but he also doesn't have human ears. He's just got this weird like fur on his jawline or whatever. Um, so customizing is kind of weird for these dolls, but I mean, I don't know, it is what it is. But his face looks really good. So this is a close up of his face up. I think this looks really good. And he's got like the little split in his eyebrow and everything. He's got his little fangs. I actually really like his outfit. He's kind of, he's got this like varsity jacket going. Um, it's very Monster High themed, you know, it's black. It's, it feels like a good material. This is like a cotton maybe. Uh, and then the sleeves are like a leather. They're, this is a straight up faux leather. Uh, and it, these are really cool. And I love the colors. I like the color combination. Um, it's got patches and pockets, but they're just kind of printed on. So they're not like actually added on, but I mean, they, they look cool for it. But, um, you know, it would have been nice if it was like an actual pocket or like even like trying to make it fit. And even like the, I've seen a lot of dolls that have the little grommets or buttons or whatever to, for where the buttons are. These are just printed on. Um, but I'm not complaining. I'm just pointing it out. Um, he's wearing this shirt underneath, which is really cool. It's got like a hand with a claw, with the claw marks. Um, I feel like that's a reference to something that might be a reference to like one of the werewolf movies from back in the day. I don't know, but let me know if this is actually like a reference to something specific. Let me know in the comments. He's got some gray jeans on. They've got a whole bunch of like claw marks all over them and they look distressed, which is really trendy and really cool. Uh, the bottom is cut jaggedy to make it look like they're cut off jeans or ripped off, which is interesting. I'm there. The thing is they're burned at the e or not burned but you know like when they do that edging to keep it from fraying they did that at the bottom it's like i feel like for the look you should have just let the bottom of the pants fray like why wouldn't you just do that because i feel like it would have looked more genuine than what you did i don't know i'm not complaining it, it looks cool i like the effect that they were going for um and then his shoes are really cool they're like co high top converse but they're purple and then they have like claws on them and stuff like that and then what's on the bottom i think it's just like scratch marks or whatever on molded on the bottom of the shoes here's a better look at the like oh no i think that's fur i don't think that's claws i think it's like fur sticking out yeah, on top of it. But I love these shoes. I really, I love that they're purple Converse. <laughs> like, I think that's really cool. I forgot to show you the accessories. I usually do that first, but that's okay. We'll talk about the accessories now. Um, so he comes with a cell phone. His cell phone cover is purple. It looks like a werewolf from the back. It's like furry, has a tail at the bottom and ears at the top. It has a little thing here for him to put his finger through so he can hold it. Um, here is the phone itself. You can see all the different little apps and everything. On his other hand here, he has a gym bag. What did I drop? Oh, rubber band. It doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> um, this is like a duffel bag, gym bag kind of thing. It's black. It does have a little charm here and the little charm is cute. It looks like a little paw print. That's actually really cute. I like that. And then um, it looks like it does open. So you actually can put stuff in it, which is cool. And I just remembered pretty much all the G3 Monster High signature dolls come with something like this. So they either come with a backpack or some kind of a bag. Uh, they also come with a additional 
outfit piece. So in Claude's case, it is a jersey for casketball, uh, and it just says his name, Claude, and it says 01. Um, and I don't know if that's supposed to be like the year he was born, or if that's supposed to be he's just number one on the team because you know all the team players are numbered differently. And there's not a lot to it. There's like a spider web here and like a little uh, crescent moon, or no, it's a claw. And stuff like that but it's just a little jersey i'm not going to put it on him right now um just because it's it's literally just a jersey and it, i mean you could just kind of like imagine it would just be the jersey over the pants but i i prefer this shirt shirt i like the shirt better now just like the other g3 monster high dolls he comes with a drink a snack uh sunglasses an outfit piece and a bag a cell phone oh and he came with two two things uh and a pet so let me just show you all the things so here's his drink container it looks like a water bottle with a uh, straw lid. The lid does come off, so technically you could put liquid in here if you actually wanted to for some reason. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, it looks like one of these kind of like workout uh, or, or act active bottles, whatever you call them. It has the Monster High logo on it. And then he comes with two little snacks. This one is some kind of a protein bar. I can't read that. I can't tell what that is supposed to say. I'll probably be able to read it better when I'm editing the video and can zoom in a little better. But uh, anyway, I can tell that it's supposed to be a protein bar. And then the other thing he comes with is beef jerky and it says scariaki instead of teriyaki for the flavor that is hilarious monster high with their puns but it's like a plastic bag he comes with a pair of sunglasses his are orange these ones are like a yellowish orange and that's just to distinguish them from heaths heaths are like more of an actual orange color uh which you could see like the flames on the side and then these ones that are more of a yellow like a school bus yellow kind of with the uh is it fangs oh i guess it's like drips of something and then teeth underneath or whatever but these are for Claude and this is what they look like while he's wearing them and last but not least here is his pet it which is so cute hold on what's the pet's name Roxina so this is Roxina it looks like a French bulldog and because it's French uh, they made it a gargoyle because I, I guess all the gargoyles are from Scaris, Scaris, France in the Monster High world. So because it's a little Frenchy, like a French bulldog, they made it a gargoyle, which I think is <laughs> really adorable. I actually really like this pet. This is super cute. I mean, it doesn't need the wings. I mean, it does because it's supposed to be a gargoyle, but even if it didn't have the wings, I would still really love this just as a little puppy. It's so cute. Here is Heath. He doesn't come with as much because he was from the budget line, but he does also come with a bag. And this just kind of looks like a little beach bag with flames on it and a painted zipper. And it is technically open, so you can put stuff in it. Um, he comes with a drink as well. His is a little volcano cup. It looks like a little tropical drink. This is super cute. I kind of wish that there was painted details, but it is what it is and it's still cute. He also comes with some SPF 30 sunblock. And then like I already showed you earlier, he has his sunglasses, which let me put them on him so you can see what they look like while he's wearing them. There you go. I love it when the sunglasses are actually transparent so you can actually see the doll's eyes through them. This looks really, really cool. And then of course that brings us to the doll. I'm doing everything like out of order. I showed Claude and then his accessories and then his accessories and now him. I do, anyway, I really like this hoodie. I mean, I like the look of it, but the material, like it feels like pajamas. <laughs> it's really soft. It's really nice material. His um, shorts are definitely swimsuit, like a swimsuit material. Like it's that, not, it's nylon. It's not like a plasticky, like cheap material that's used for some dolls. It, it's actually like actual swimsuit material so that's actually a really cool detail I'm, I'm glad that they did that and I like that they match and then it does have a hood up here which will it fit <laughs> Okay, good. It is. They did make it big enough because he has the molded hair. So like they have to make the hood big enough to fit over. <laughs> but speaking of which, he looks so good. I think in the animation, he looked weird for some reason, or maybe I'm like remembering it wrong, but the doll looks really good. So I'm really happy about that. I love the hair from the front. It just looked like the undercut, like it's long on top and short on the sides. But then I realized, oh, it's like a mohawk, which makes it even cooler. I actually really like the fact that it's a mohawk. Like his hair looks, I, I prefer rooted hair, but this is, this is molded hair, but it looks so cool. Like it's even like painted with a gradient. Like it looks like it's glowing. Like it looks like actual fire. This is really cool. And then he's got his sandals here, which are just slides. They're dark blue and have the flames on them. So they match the rest of the outfit. Monster High boy dolls have really good articulation. And this is, I think 
besides the cool designs and the they look good, the articulation is a huge reason why I like Monster High and Ever After High boys. Um, first of all, they have a ball jointed head with a really good range of movement. They can look up, look down, you know, tilt their head. Like that's really, really good. And a lot of other boy dolls don't have that. Um, they're lucky if they can tilt their head at all. Most boy dolls can only turn left and right, which is why I don't collect Disney princes. I would collect the Disney prince dolls if they had articulation like this at the neck. Um, along with that, they do have movement at the shoulders, the elbows, and the wrists. Unlike the girl dolls, they do not have articulated waists, uh, but they do have movement at the hips, the knee, and also at the ankle. And uh, only the boy dolls have the ankle articulation. The girl dolls do not. So anyway, that is going to be it for Claude and for Heath. Uh, some Monster High Mansters from G3. I'm really glad that Monster High G3 is doing well and that they're bringing out more characters. Um, I plan to redo my doll display and I think I'm going to go back to like putting similar dolls next to each other like from the same doll line like I'm going to put all my rainbow high together all my monster high together I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do yet I'll share it with you guys in at least one of my videos or I might make a dedicated video for it if I do change it but um I for monster high g3 I plan to only have one doll of every character but as new dolls come out if they have one that I like better than the current one I have I will replace it like I'll get the new doll like um, you know, I had all the, the signature dolls for all the main characters like Claudine and Frankie and Draculaura and whatever. Uh, but when I, you know, like the monster ball came out and all of a sudden I really liked the monster ball. So I kind of like traded them out for their monster ball counterparts, uh, and stuff like that. But, um, you know, I, I like it when they make these characters that are not the main four characters four or five characters or whatever it is now um you know adding in all these other characters that are not as common i'm, I'm really happy that they're starting to do more of that and i'm really looking for i really want to get the the werecat twins um persephone and meality uh, i think that they're only currently available in the three pack with torlai correct me if i'm wrong but uh and i don't even know when that's coming out but i really want to get those and i want to get uh caddy noir and uh who else oh spectra we just got pictures of spectra and she looks gorgeous. I am really liking Monster High G3. I'm like really like I keep kind of doing this with how I feel about Monster High G3 but I'm like definitely at a high right now. I'm really enjoying it and I'm liking collecting it. So um, anyway I'm gonna get going for right now because now you know the the review is done and I'm at the point where I'm just gonna start rambling. So I'm gonna end the video now um, but as always I want to hear from you. Let me know what you think of these dolls down in the comments down below. Do you have either of them? Also which one do you like better? Do you like Claw? better or do you like Heath? I don't have a favorite. I like them both. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm going to get going for right now, but thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you next time. Bye. If you like this video, you can let me know by hitting thumbs up. You can check out some of my other videos by clicking one of the links on the screen. I post new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.